surface enable right by default surface enable you can disable the safe you just need to put the no ip safe command in the global configuration and you can also disable someone mic is on safe on for interface basis right how do we do that you just need to go on the interface 0 slash 0 no ip safe right you just need to say the no ip by default step is never and uh in a step what happened we have a two types of table one we have a fifth table forwarding information base and one we have a adjacency table right adjacency table is known as a layer two table and uh fifth table is known as a layer three table right and uh, your self is self table is a mirror copy of routing table so if your routing table is uh, for example in the routing table if you have a 1 or 0 or 0 or 0 information at the same time what happened the self table also have a in the routing table we have a 2 or 0 or 0 information with the self table also we have a right if the routing table say that no routing no 1 or 0 self also there no 1 or 0 same like that right on a router you can have routing table but you can disable septable just say that no ip set so in that case what happened routing table will be there right in this case what happened routing table will be there but set table will be not there right it's only let be like this one we only have a rounding table not the set table normally what happened normally you will have a rounding table and set table so set processing is good because whenever the router receive a packet uh this guy the router will look up the set table Okay, and based on the set table, they are forwarding a packet, right? So in that case, what happens? CPU will be not hit. CPU will be not hit. Step was good, right? But still, what happened? We are relying on which person? IP. The complete route is relying on the IP, so that's why we have introduced the concept of MPLS. And what MPLS is going to do? It is going to make a label. Label is a 20-bit number, so instead of looking the 32-bit information. now router mpls or not the router mpls router is now going to look up twenty bit and based on that based on the label lookup Based on the label lookup. Now, by default, like self, in a self, whatever, by default, self is enabled, right? By default, MPLS is disabled, right? By default, MPLS is disabled. You need to enable the MPLS manually only, right? After enabling MPLS on a router, what happened? Now router will not not router. MPLS will assign a unique label for each prefix. MPLS will assign a unique label for each prefix. Right. And this label is a locally significant. For example, if the router number one has, if the router one 
has this information in the set table 1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
So tell me if I'm going to remove the self. If I'm going to remove the self, will this route? be enabled for the MPLS. I'll show you this practical, don't worry about that. I'm just trying to clear the, all the concept. I'm not allocating the label from the routing table. I'm allocating the label from the SAP table. So SAP must be enabled for the MPLS. For your kind information, note this point, SAP must be enabled for URPF as well as. This is the very, very important troubleshoot was there in the CCI routing system lab exam. If you remember that the lab was, uh, I don't know the, what was the lab. Was. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So one lab was there in this one. So uh, URPF, uh, they made the URPF uh, sorry, SEP disable. So URPF is not working well, right? So SEP must be enabled for the URPF. If you don't know what is URPF, then happy since, okay, we'll discuss this thing later on. So both these two things, SEP must be enabled because I'm allocating the label from the SEP table, not from the routing table. So from the LIB, I'm making a, sorry, from the FIB, I'm making a LP. So in MPLS, we have a, You want me? LIB, label, information, base, and when we have a LP, label, this. You can assume like this. EFGRP has a tables, right? EFGRP has a tables, like how? EFGRP has a topology table and routing table. I'm not talking about the neighbor table, right? Interface table, neighbor table. Of course, they also have, MPLS also have a neighbor table, interface table, everything is there. I'm talking the perspective of this one, right? Who is going to maintain the label information? So in the topology table, what happened? You will have a successor route and you will have a feasible success. You can only have up to six feasible successor into positive. Now, when we have a topology table, when we have a routing table, MPLS LIV information is behave like a topology table. It means that you will have a best information. The best label will be there. And second best label. But in the LP, what happened? They only maintain best label information. So you can see that best path or second best path. You can compare like this one, best path and second best path. So as we know that, routing table only maintain the best path, right? SEP table only best path. So same thing, LP word, it only maintain the best path information. Except this two table, we also have a, except this two table, except this two table, we also have a interface table, you know, the, you know, the neighbor table, like same like a EJAP, anything else. This one is clear. This basic theory is clear what is happening. Yesterday we have seen why do we need a FMLS, right? Now, now tell me one thing, is MPLS 
is a protocol or packet forwarding, label forwarding mechanism. It's a label forwarding, right? It's not a protocol. So MPLS is not a protocol. It's a label forwarding mechanism. And it works on the layer 2.5. Two point five, right? So it's not working on layer three, not even the layer two, right? It's working on the layer two, two point five. So basically, what happened? I'll tell you one thing. This is the physical layer, data link layer, and we have a layer two point five, and we have a layer three. Layer one, layer two, layer three. And layer two point five. Sometimes it's also known as scene header because it's present between the layer two and layer three. That's a scene. So Sunny, if somebody will ask you what is seam header, right? So you will need to explain like this. Now, question is that a uh, CCNA level question I'm going to ask you guys on data link layer or data link layer, we can say that or we can say the frame, right? What information is present so that the data link will decide I need to forward the packet of the layer three? Ethernet type? What is the size of it? Uh, uh, size of Ethernet type? Two byte, right? Zero X zero eight double zero. It means that zero X eight six DD and zero X zero eight zero six and zero X zero eight one double zero. Eight zero dot one Q. Take a line here, I go. And zero X eight eight four seven. MPLS unicast. And uh, zero X eight eight four eight. MPLS multicast. So try to understand if any packet is coming, right? That have a source MAC address A, destination MAC address B, and Ethernet type is 0x0800. Source IP is 101, destination IP is 102. So when the packet is going to, a frame is going to the layer two, what happened? It will follow the packet to the layer three based on the, this bit. Hmm? When this packet is coming, when this frame is coming on the layer two, what happened? It will look up the type field, and based on the type field, what happened? I need to follow the packet to whom? Layer two point five because this guy is going to represent MPLS. Aise laaye karo tum. Gaate kaam. Law is that eight one four seven or eight eight four seven? What I do? I am not. Eight 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 one four seven is. Eight eight four eight eight four seven. Eight eight four seven. I think so. Two byte ka tha. Two octet. Eight eight four seven. Eight 
So guys, this is how your router is going to decide, okay, data link is to drive for the packet of the layer 2.5 or layer 3. And even if the packet is, take example, if the packet is uh, source macros A, distance like B, and if you have a 0x, uh, you know, 81.0, 80.1q, right? Source IP 101, distance IP 102. So do I need to follow the packet of the layer 2 even? Oh, sorry, layer 3? No, even not player one, right? Because it's a layer two protocol. It's your dot one two protocol, right? Done. Now, this is router number one. This is router number two. This is my router number three, right? Take example. Thank you. Done. Then now try to understand you are going to enable the MPLS only on the uh, ISP network. You are only going to enable the MPLS only on the ISP network, right? So this is the guy that is going to enable with the MPLS. Only this part. Okay. Now, as I told you that, as I told you that the SAP table, from the SAP table, what happened? The MPLS router is going to create a L50 table, right? By assigning a label to the H prefix. And this label assignment, this label assignment is locally to the router. This label assignment is locally to the router. Question is that, okay, in MPLS, MPLS order will forward the packet based on label. That's good. Label is 20 bit number.
right? Label is a 20 bit number. Question is that question is that who is going to assign the label? Who is going to maintain, manage the label? Manage the sense of what? Delete, insert, and start. The first one, who is going to assign the label? First question. Uh, no, only R3 will be MPLS enabled, is it? R4 will not be, is it? Is that, is that what you're saying? Or both R3 and R4 will be MPLS? R2, R3, R4, R5. All the, this is the ISP network. This all yellow one. The question is that who is going to assign the label? Tell me one thing. R1, R2. I want to provide the communication between this two guys from R1 to this network. How do I do that? I need to enable the routing, right? Either you can do the static routing or either you can do the dynamic routing. In a dynamic, uh, in a static routing, what happened? You have to give everything manually. In a dynamic routing, what happened? We have a protocol. Same thing, who is going to assign the label to this prefix? If this prefix is there, 1.0.0.0, after enabling the MPLS, who's going to assign the label? MPLS is not a protocol. MPLS is not a protocol, right? MPLS is what? It's a label switching mechanism, right? MPLS is a label switching mechanism. So MPLS is not going to assign the label, right? Who is going to assign the label to this prefix? Mm -hmm. You cannot define the label as static, right? There's no way to define the static label. Only the things are dynamic label assignment. Once the dynamic comes in the picture, we have a protocol that is known as a LDP. LDP is a protocol, right? LDP is a protocol that stands for is a label distribution protocol. that is used to assign label to the prefix at the same time it distribute the label to IP mapping information. another LDP. So before exchanging LDP daughter will yeah, MPLS daughter will Neighborship is prerequisite, right? Seem like a dynamic, dynamic routing protocol. Before exchanging the route, you must have a neighborship. Once you have a neighborship, after that, you can exchange the route. Same thing, first we form the LDP neighborship. Once the neighborship has formed, then we can exchange the label information. And this label information is known as a label to mapping table, we can say that. Distribute, the name suggests that label distribution, right? Label distribution means what? I'm going to assign the label, right? And I'm going to distribute the 
लिवे now so the protocol is what this guy name is ldp at the same time this girl name is ldp so ldp stand for protocol TDP stand for the term label and tag almost same almost same same here there so before ldp before ldp TDP was introduced by the Cisco. Cisco party tha. TDP is Cisco party. not using it is just go right we don't want the issue with the tdp the biggest issue why we are not going to use the new version one any other things is doing the broadcasting right see where the tdp is doing the broadcasting this is the one of the biggest issue and this is the reason even the cisco is saying that hey do one thing dude always use this guy instead of using the this girl because ldp is a what i triple e stand up protocol and this guy is going to use the concept of multicasting multicast ip address right not the broadcast i'll let you know the multicast ip don't worry about that so this guy is going to use the multicast ip address tdp works on udp port number 711 right whereas ldp works on the udp port number 646 Sorry, I will do that. Now, at the house, maybe at the house, maybe at the house, maybe at the house. Everybody, let's have a done. So, what LDP is used? What is the use of LDP to assign the label to the prefix? And this label assignment is locally to the router, and to distribute the label to mapping information, right? <coughs> Yes. 
Next thing is that CMP LTP has three operations. What we have a push. In this push, what happened is the name says that push means what? Push the label. Yeah, but you school se padha hua hai. So government is school se padha hua hai. Push the label. Who push the label? Push the label? Kya? Maine bola what is the meaning of push? Push the label. Push the label. Insert the label. मैं पढ़ाऊ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल से बोल मैं तो बोलता हूँ गर्ब्स मेरे पूरे पैसे हो जाए पापा के पॉप बोल के पॉप द लेवल नहीं नहीं पॉप द लेवल रिमूव द लेवल ये वो सिंच दिस पर्सन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द पुस्ट इज वॉट इफ द पैकेट इज कमिंग If this packet is coming, I'm going to assign the label for this guy. One or zero or zero or zero or zero or zero. The label will be twenty, right? Same way, if the packet is coming, <clears throat> sorry, uh, yeah, the packet is coming in uh, label number twenty. What I'll do is going to pop, remove the label. Label number twenty coming. I'm going to say thirty. Stop. And all this done by the MPLS logic. All these three operation is done by the only MPLS enabler, or we get the LTP enabler. In MPLS, we have a. in mpls we have a two types of rot one we have a poor lsr rotor poor lsr means lsr means label switch rotor Why I'm seeing the label switch router? Because this router only forward the packet based on label. That's the meaning of pool. Then after that we have a HLSR router. This router. Provide, not provide. Totally different.
when with this type of product for the packet based on the label on, on label and IP. Whereas four LS are only meant in the label information, not the IP information. Jadi pe Jadi don't get me wrong, okay? And guys who is belong to the Gujarat, don't get me wrong. Rafi, <laughs> 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 What happened? Okay. So now have a look. To some of the other. Hey. Guys, in this diagram, can you see that in this topology? We have a core LSR, we have a core LSR, we have an edge LSR, and we have an edge LSR. Edge LSR provide the connectivity with the customer. Edge LSR provide the connectivity with the customer. Core LSR has a connectivity with the only service provider router. Core LSR has a only connectivity with the service provider router. Edge LSR provide the connectivity with the customer as well as. Is that clear now? What's happening? All right. Now, we'll talk about this operation later on, how this thing is working. Not now, but yeah, this is the operations. The recommendation, we always have to use the LDP protocol, not the TDP, right? TDP is a Cisco body protocol, and uh, you can also, you, you can enable the TDP as well as, and also you, what's the difference between happen? And I will also show you like, is it compatible with the TDP and LDP as well? Don't worry about it, okay? But we have to use the LDP because TDP is not used by the, even, even any device or like any companies as well as, and nobody will ask you about the TDP. They will just ask you what is the difference between this guy and this guy. And uh, in examinations, you only have a LDP, not the TDP. What is the prerequisite? For the MPLS. Into routing protocol, actually. You must need to know. Routing protocol. So, okay, routing protocol. <laughs> this is the only prerequisite. <laughs> oh, Ron, you just need to remove this part. Okay. And you just need to remove this part. You will need to only see this part. Okay. <laughs> Should I put that into the Google Translator? Yeah, of course you can put it, but I don't think so they will convert it or not. So I can already put it in the language. 
चलो सो गाइस लेट्स सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डू द आईपी कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑन दिस राउटर एंड आई विल गो आई एम गोइंग टू इनेबल द यू नो नॉट राउटिंग राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल राइट फर्स्ट आईपी कनेक्टिविटी एंड सेकंड राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल सो स्टेप नंबर 1 कॉन्फ़िगर आईपी एड्रेस स्टेप नंबर 2 कॉन्फ़िगर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल स्टेप नंबर 3 check ip to ip connectivity step number 4 enable mpls this is all a step for what mpls unicast उसके बाद दो सौ आई सी इसके जो नहीं पड़ता कितने इसके आदेश वन मिनट How much space we have? One thirty one pitch. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. पढ़ क्या ना इसको? RFC number three zero three six. So LDP has defined the RFC three zero three six. चले चलो तो लेट्स गाइस स्टार्ट द आईपी कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस ओके कितने फोन करूंगा ओके उसने ठग लिया तुम ठग लिया उसने उस बंदी ने हां तुमने सब देखा हुआ उसका उसका कल जॉब लगा था ठीक है सी सॉरी सी गॉट अ जॉब यस्टरडे राइट सो आई सो ही सी कॉल मी सर आई गॉट अ जॉब सो तो भी ओके कांग्रेचुलेशन सो मैंने कहा कि ठीक है तू मिठाई लेगा आज ही कल और क्या मैं यही बोलूंगा बोला सर नहीं मैं आपको पार्टी देना चाहता हूं मैंने कहा तू पार्टी बाद में दियो मुझे काजू कतली खाने की इच्छा कर रही है तो तू लेकर आ जाओ उसके रूम में काजू कतली रखे हुए थे इस गए या इस कांटेंट में सी वेंट टू दिस कांटेंट इंटरफेस ब्रीफ uh my recommendation take a screenshot of this one if you want okay take a photo in uh phone so that you can easily you know understand this ha kya hai pilas acha kai likh do kya acha kai likh do kya hai pilas and pilas mein likh de हम्मा 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 ये तो बसुरत समा ले बस हो गया ये जो मुस्कान है ना तेरी मुस्कान ही रह जाएगी बढ़िया किसने बोल दिया तुझे बहुत अच्छा बोला भाई गलत फहमी होती है लोगों को इसलिए मैं अपनी शक्ल है ना में में देखता देखता आईना सोच लो ये देखो यार चले
So guys, we have done almost all theory. Whatever the theory will require, I will teach you according uh, according to the like you know the configuration part and everything, right? So now we can move to the like you know configuration. So we have a uh, four steps for the MPLS unicast. As we already discussed, MPLS application has a uh, three MPLS unicast. You can use the MPLS T and you can you can use the MPLS VPN. To understand the MPLS VPN, first you need to understand the MPLS unicast. Four step configure the IP address, configure routing protocol, check IP to IP connectivity, and enable MPLS. Let's do the first step. Show IP interface brief ex exclude and assign. If you see, I have a proper IP configuration on there. This guy, right? So run section EHGRP. Can you see all my EHGRP is enabled, right? Let's go back to the router number two now. That is this guy now. Okay, one minute. Take one now. Do show IP interface brief. You can see all we have IP configuration on router number two, right? And do show run section EHGRP. All we have EHGRP configuration, right? On router number three. All done. Good, no? All done. All done. All done. Everything is cool. R6. All done. Let's go to router number one and let's check the connectivity from this end to the other end. Right. So we have a one branch in the Delhi location, one branch in the Bangalore location. I just need to provide the connectivity. So I'm taking a, a connection, the MPLS connection from the ISP, right? I'm taking an MPLS connection. You can take a multiple connection. So to just forward, uh, you know, I don't want any kind of delay in my network. I'm just taking a private connection with the MPLS. Spring six source. And we are good to go, right? Let's start the. So we have done with the step number third, right? Step four, MPLS. Now, as I told you that, you're only going to enable MPLS on the MPLS ISP network, right? And before exchanging label information, before exchanging label information, MPLS router first on the LDP innovation, same like a EAGRP as well. Before extending the route, they will first form the new issue. Right? By default, Ceph is enabled. We don't need to enable the Ceph. Ceph is a prerequisite for the MPLS. Must Ceph will be present, right? Because through the Ceph, I'm going to make a LDP table. R2. So if you just have a look, do show IP Ceph. My Ceph is enabled, right? I don't have any issue. What I'm going to do? 
Boss oh, command. Sir, sir, law, law, one minute. Uh, can you just uh, go back to that Ceph table? I was yesterday looking at it. I was not able to understand uh, this particular. So it's it's telling me the next top uh, information. Say it now. You know. Sir, itne, I mean, like basically, is there no way that we can uh, reduce this F table because it, it kind of routing table reduce karo, mesko reduce karo to. You just reduce the routing table. I can reduce this part. Achha. Okay, okay. First, the thing is that I need to enable, or we can say that we have to choose. The protocol, which one? LDP or TDP, right? So MPLS label. I'm going to assign the label to which protocol? Which one is the default? LDP. So we can change the TDP as well. So now MPLS means what? I need to forward the packet based on the label switching mechanism. To assign the label, I need to use the protocol LDP. I need to forward the packet based on the label switching mechanism. To assign the label, I need to use the protocol LDP. You can use TDP as well as we'll see that later on. Fourth command. Second command. MPLS LDP route ID. All defined manually. Sorry, look which look back I have. Look back number one. Do show history. These two commands. These two commands are optional. But I'm working. Later on, I'll tell you, okay? But right now, for your confirmation, for your knowledge. Because router ID uh, will be optional, right? Of course. See, router ID will be optional because in EHRP as well as what how the router ID is selection. If you don't define manually, high slow back. If you don't have a high slow back, go for the physical interface. And if you don't have a physical interface, Zero resolution. Sandar Jawab. So, a question over there. Zero, 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 zero. Can I assign the 255, 255, 255 as a route ID? No. No. Not a packet, so you can assign it. <laughs> <laughs> of, this is the bug. Uh, hey, this is, uh, even the, some guys have come to me. So, so no, we can assign. Yeah. Possibly, okay. But you have to give this command on every daughter to just remind this uh, command, right? So you must need to have a knowledge, okay, how to change the protocol and how to set the route ID just for the learning purpose right now. Once you learn, just forget it. After that, what happened? After that, I need to enable the LDP on a particular interface. I'm not going to enable the LDP on this interface. Listen to me. Because this is the customer side, right? And customer will never form the MPLS membership. Customer will never form the MPLS membership. So I'm not going to enable the MPLS on this interface. I'm only going to enable the MPLS on this interface. Customer, why should I? I'm, I don't need to enable the customer and enable this, right? Interface, zero slash one. Command, IP, sorry, MPLS, question mark.
what is line is configure dynamic ampls forwarding for which protocol ip right that's it capture this link and before i'm going to capture the uh, like uh, enable this command most important thing debug एक पे देना ट्रांसपोर्ट बाइडन लेट्स इनेबल इंटरफेस जीरो स्लास जीरो एमपी लेस आईपी भाई एक मिनट आईपी एमपीएस फॉरवर्डिंग इज ग्लोबली डिसेबल ऑन दिस राउटर हां ओह या 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 आई रिमूव दैट वन ऑन दैट टाइम एंड फिर सेट बड़ा ही मिस्टेक बन रहा हूं एक्चुअली एट द बिगनिंग इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट लाइक ऑन द थ्योरी क्लास राइट आई डिसेबल दैट थिंग ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल ओनली आई डिसेबल द एम्पलीस कमांड एंड प्लेस इट हां गाइस व्हिच मैसेज आई एम सेंडिंग आफ्टर इनेबलिंग सॉरी है Oh, I, my question is like if if you have mpls ip enabled at the global level you still need to configure it at the interface level as well yeah i ah, yes you have to enable the mpls right on the interface level uh, when you enable at the global level it's not enabled on all the interfaces global you can only use for the osp as i know you can use the osp uh, like you know uh, the osp protocol and uh, osp has the ability to enable the global uh, mpls right so or whatever the interface is enabled with those they automatically enable with ldp right but here you have to in the ejrp case or rip even the bgp as well as you have to enable the mpls as a point interface basis as i know right okay mpls the global configuration even i mean mpls ip one minute ek minute na bhai एक मिनट देना बस एक मिनट देता मेरे तो मैं सब देर वर्मिया गाइस
make and uh, most of the things are pre-configured, right? Actually, most of the things are pre-configured. Let me remove all those things and I'll see if it's working or not. Done, done. R6, R2. Do you all know? No one is there right now. Do what? And I'll just reload this router because otherwise the effect will not take right to reload. Wait for some time. Okay, I'm not forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Then I'm back to the party. I'm going to go to the party. I'm going to go to the party. I'm going to go to the party. I'm going Yes. Hello. What are you doing? One minute now. Let's go start. Guys, you can take a five minutes of break, right? If you want, you can take a break. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anjit. Yeah. Yes, you are audible. Just tell me what happened. Which water? Asha Maruti, tell me. Oh yeah, I yesterday yesterday I came right. You 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 were not there. 
yeah so actually i correct all the documents right but the one गाड़ी गाड़ी आ गई तो भाई चलेंगे मुझे फायदा हो रहा है मेरा तो कोई फायदा नहीं हो रहा है नुकसान हो गया बात बात उसकी नहीं है, उसके नहीं है 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 नुकसान का ये कोरोना फिर से आ गया चीन जीने नहीं तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं ब्रेक ले लो भाई अभी पांच मिनट पांच मिनट मुझे लगेंगे आप आईपी कंफ्यूज करने में डायग्राम बनाने में टेक योर टाइम है साढ़े बारह बजे है ना अभी बहुत टाइम है अभी आज तीन बजे तक पढ़ेंगे तीन बजे तक क्या करेगा आइस करके यार कुछ रखा है इसमें क्या कल तो तुझे पता नहीं तो सुनने में आया तुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा था कौन समझाया ऐसे चलाती है तैयारी कर रहा था कौन कौन सा प्रोटोकॉल है में अब देख तू गलती बोलेगा अभी अलर्ट मैट से काम क्या होता है कौन से एरर के लिए होता है ये तो सबको पता है रिकॉर्ड प्रोटोकॉल क्या है काम करता है तो हैंड से क्या करता है सेशन आईडी कितने बैठ के होता है 32 32 बैठ के अपडेट भाई भाई आपने गलती लिख लिया सर बात को गलत कर चेंज कर आप नहीं कर सकते दोनों तरीके से बैठ सेंटर में भी तरीके से और ये भी कर सकते हैं उन्होंने गलती किया इससे पहले वाले भी उसका मैंने सुन लिया मैंने वो गलत बोल रहा है व्हाट इज सेशन 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 आई एम क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज सेशन स्टार्ट विद सेशन मैं पूछ रहा हूं कि मैं ये पूछ रहा हूं तू क्या है मैं नहीं पूछ रहा हूं तू क्या करता है मुझे क्या बता बता कल से ना एक नोटबुक लेके आएगा ठीक है नोटबुक लेके आएगा वो नोटबुक है ना जो भी पढ़ेगा उस नोटबुक पे लिखेगा नहीं जो भी पढ़ेगा तू गूगल से पढ़ेगा वट एवर थिंग्स यू टू लर्न फ्रॉम एनी ट्रेनर एनी थिंग फ्रॉम गूगल एवरी यू हैव टू राइट इन तो वट इज सेशन तुझे आज तक नहीं पता चला वट इज सेशन तो गूगल करियो अलिक के बताइए मुझे भी सो गाइस आई एम सो आई एम जस्ट फॉलोइंग द सेम स्टेप राइट सॉरी नॉट सेम स्टेप आई एम गोइंग टू फॉलो द मल्टीकास्ट यूनिकास्ट कॉन्फिगरेशन स्टेप आईपीएस कॉन्फिगरेशन राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल चेक आईपी कनेक्टिविटी एंड इन योर एमपीएस राइट 
So this is my core MPLS, like, you know, the router. Right. All done. R1 interface 0 slash 0. IP address will be 2 or 1 slash 24. No sound on. Interface loopback number 1. IP address will be 101. I have one loopback on R1. Done. Root or what? R2 interface 0 slash 0. 2 or 2 slash 24. No sound on. Interface 1 slash 0. IP address will be 23 or 2 slash 24. No sound on. Router edge. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. No sound on. Interface loopback number 1. IP address will be. Router HRP number one, network grid. Save this configuration. R5. IP address only what? T6.5. Oh, come on. No, so done. Right? Router user. Okay, interface loopback number one. Do not save this configuration. R6. Every router has a one loop back, guys. Okay. Done, done, So we have done with the configuration. Let's go back to the router number one and check the IP connectivity. Do ping 6.6.6.6.6 source 111, right? Do ping. Done. Perfect, right? So we have done with the step number three. One, two, three, right? Enable MPLS. Okay. Let's go to router number two. Okay. Nothing is there, right? The first command is what? MPLS LDP. Sorry. MPLS label protocol. The first I need to choose which protocol you are going to use to assign the label. Right. Sorry, to use to assign the label and distribute the label information, right? LTP. You can use the TDP as well as, but it's never a recommendation. And nobody will ask you, even in the examination, TDP is not there. We'll discuss this thing, how whatever the compatibility is the TDP and LDP, and what is the domain difference will happen. Okay. Choose this protocol. MPLS, LDP, router ID. We need to define instead of the IP address. We need to define the interface number. Right? So what is the interface to do swipe interface brief? If you see, 
look back number one that is going to represent that it's two dot two dot two dot two dot two right so instead of defining the two dot two dot two dot two you need to define the interface number if you are going to define two dot two dot two dot two at the same time it from the error message so you have to use the interface number once we have done with the, this part right if you see do show on section mpls then what is the next thing we need to do i need to enable the interface mpls ip sami i'm coming to your question don't worry mpls ip once i'm going to enable this interface if you see and you are only going to enable the mpls on the service provider network right this guy um, this interface this interface this interface this interface this interface and this way. on the customer side you are not going to enable the mpls this guy not mpls not mpls always you are going to enable the mpls on the isp network right mpls ip what happened if you see now ldp protocol that i have used is sending the which message hello message same like a egrp what is the use of hello message in egrp and osp to oh, form a neighborship and adjacency right so if you have a look over there you show interface on which interface i have enabled the ldp 1/0 right on this interface i have enabled the ldp and if you see do show interface 1/0 include bia the born in mac address for the mac address of i need to for the packet of the layer 3 layer 3 we have source ip we what 23 or 2 of course the interface 1/0 ip layer 3 layer 3 layer 3 or 2 right destination is what a multicast ip 224.0.0.2 or or right have a look hsrp multicast address the same multicast address is what ldp same multicast address is for what hsrp for which version then now after that was the protocol number 17 ttl value 1 udp protocol 17 right and then after that we have udp source port will be what 646 destination will be what 646 right then and after that we have all label distribution protocol which version i'm going to use version 1 and in this hello message i'm sending which address try to understand one thing 
एक मिनट दो मुझे बस आई नीड टू टेक अ कैप्चर ओके एंड देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दिस थिंग सर वन वन क्वेश्चन सो यू बेसिकली पिक दैट हेलो मैसेज राइट आपने इंटरफेस लेवल पे भी एमपीएलएस आईपी एनेबल किया था क्या ओनली एंड अभी तुम्हारे उस क्वेश्चन पे आता हूं आई एम जस्ट कमिंग बैक इनटू नो बट नाउ फॉर नाउ यू जस्ट एनेबल्ड इट ऑन द ग्लोबल लेवल करेक्ट इंटरफेस लेवल मैंने ग्लोबल पे कॉन्फिगर किया ही नहीं है अच्छा इंटरफेस पे किया ओके in this ldp protocol and this message is what this message is a hello message right what information i'm sending transport this name transport address is representing which protocol transport connection tcp right and here the ip people transport address is representing 2.2.2.2 so what happened try to understand is sending your ldp packet hello message right and in this ldp hello message what happened this guy will send on 224.0.0.0.2 right source port will be 646 and 646 udp right and what i'm sending transport address why i'm sending the transport address over there The protocol is still UDP, right? Why I'm including the transport address field? So try to understand one thing, guys. Your LD LDP protocol works on the UDP for neighbor discovery. And in this hello packet, they will send the address so r2 is sending a own transport address and r3 will sending the own transport address and based on this transport address what happened now ldp will move to the tcp to form neighborship because i need a reliable connectivity and for this one also i'm going to use the same port number 646 so can we say this thing that ldp is going to use tcp and udp as well as same like a dns dns is also going to use the tcp and udp right तो अब इंटरव्यू में कोई क्वेश्चन पूछेगा विच प्रोटोकॉल इज गोइंग टू यूज द टीसीपी एंड यूडीपी सर्विसेज डीएनएस एंड एलडीपी सो राइट नाउ स्टिल आई एम लुकिंग फॉर द नेवरशिप कैन यू सी इज देयर एनी टीसीपी हैंड सिग्नल इज हैपनिंग नो राउटर 2 इज कीप सेंडिंग द हेलो पैकेट 23 और 2 बिकॉज़ आई हैवंट इनेबल द एमपीएलएस ऑन दिस इंटरफेस आई हैवंट इनेबल द एलडीपी ऑन दिस इंटरफेस राइट सो ही इज कीप सेंडिंग द LDP. Come back to the router number three. Do we have any MPLS? No. Question coming from Swami. MPLS IP. Just check another thing. MPLS label protocol. LDP.
no swami this command will never enable with mpls only one thing that i know right the mpls will only you can enable globally mpls if you are running with those you have a one command mpls ltp auto config for area number 0 so whatever the interface that is enabled with the ospf for this particular area whatever the area you want to assign right will be enabled with mpls there is no any global thing so i make clear uh yes uh, but when we remove that when you put that no mpls ip right then basically it disables mpls across all the interfaces also even if you can yeah yeah exactly right right i will explain this command later or not now okay i'll just solve your question right that's it now i need to enable this interface in uh, mpls right let's first define the mpls router id mpls ldp sorry mpls label protocol which protocol i am going to use ldp mpls ldp router id will be lubac number 1 same thing interface 0/0 mpls ip and interface 1/0 mpls ip they form the neighborship and you can see they are forming the neighborship based on the tcp we'll try to go किसी भी आ गया सेम पोर्ट नंबर 646 सो डिस्कवरी यूडीपी फॉर्मिंग नेमशिप डीसीबी सेम भी लेट्स इनेबल द एमपीएलएस ऑन दिस डायर फोर एमपीएलएस एलडीपी प्रोटोकॉल व्हाट सॉरी लेबल प्रोटोकॉल व्हाट एलडीपी एमपीएलएस एलडीपी राउट आईडी विल बी लूप बैक नंबर 1 Interface zero slash zero MPLS IP and interface one slash zero MPLS IP done. We form the neighborship. R four has formed the neighborship with R three. Guys, if you have any question regarding this thing, don't worry about that. We'll discuss each and everything. Don't worry. R five MPLS label protocol LDP MPLS LDP router ID will be no better than one. Interface zero slash zero MPLS IP and done. We form the neighborship. And now, if you see on R one, if I'm going to make a three dot six dot six dot six dot six dot six, see MPLS is happening. See MPLS is there, right? Clear now. So, what are the commands are required? Only this command. Do so, Mister. Let me know if you have any question regarding this command line. I'm not going to explain right now packet flow, not the any tables right now. Don't worry about that. The packet flow tables, masses, or uh, packet capture. We'll see that. Ah, uh, Trish, what is exp? Experimental bit. We haven't seen that part right now. Don't worry. This is the experimental bit. We'll discuss this thing. Don't worry. It's a quality of service using the quality of service. If you understand right now, you can use it. It's used in the quality of service. Uh, we we kind of see something like IP OSPF neighbors and something of EAGP. Like, do we have a command to check the IPLS neighbors? Of course, we have everything. Don't worry. I haven't discussed anything. I just finished the two 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 and three percent of the IPLS. That's it. Okay. Okay. Have any? I will explain each and everything. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All good. Okay, guys. Then see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thanks, Lo. Thank you, guys.